Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation. I would like to thank for the opportunity to present my literature review with the title Platelet Rich Fibrin and Bone Graft in the Treatment of Intrabony Defects in Periodontitis. First of all, I would like to introduce our team. My supervisor, Arni Irawati Jais, Parentist Consultant from Department Parentology Faculty of Dentistry, Hasanuddin University, Indonesia. And me, as a speaker, Patricia Sarjaningrum from Parentology Specialist Educational Program of Dentistry Faculty, Hasanuddin University, Indonesia. I would like to begin by introduction. To start the presentation, I will give an overview. The high demand for PRF and bone graft has led researchers and parents to continue to develop biomaterials as an alternative option for restoring damaged bone tissue. The use of PRF in mandibular class 2 percussion defects has shown faster healing and bone loss. The gingival recession treated by PRF membrane resulted in greater gingival thickness and complete root coverage. The purpose of this literature review is to provide an up-to-date overview of the knowledge and clinical potential of PRF and bone graft in regenerative dental therapy. We enter the segment two about literature review. In this segment, I will talk about the three main points are consist of the first one, platelet rich fibrin, the secondly, bone graft, and the last one is intrabony defect. I will explain about the platelet rich fibrin. The PRF contains a dense fiber network with leukocytes, cytokines, glycoproteins, and also grout factors such as transforming grout factor 1. Platelet drive grout factor, vascular endothelial grout factor, and glycoproteins such as thrombospondin 1. Leukocytes in PRF play a role in the release of grout factors, immune regulation, anti infectious activity, and matrix remodeling during wound healing. The wound healing process begins with the formation of blood clots and at the time of tissue injury, postperidontal surgery causes the incorporative confirmation of platelets supported by the formation of thrombin and fibrin. This PRF is obtained from the patient's own blood by taking blood from the anterocubital vein, then the blood is put into a 10 ml sterile tube without anticoagulant which is then centrifuged using a centrifugal machine. And the secondly, about the intrabony defects. A high risk of disease progression and causes to loss if not treated optimally. The goals of parental therapy are to eliminate the inflammatory process, prevent the development of parental disease, and regenerate the parental tissue. The bone to be grafted can come from the small fragments of the patient's own bone or synthetic bone or bone from a donor. And the function of the bone graft material itself are included by a, a first one, a steel conduction, which is the graft material acts as foundation that will help bone formation. The second one, a steel induction, which is the graft material stimulates or induces new bone formation. And the last one, a steel genesis. The the cells from the graft material produce new bone. 
Sources of bone as a graph materials are included by four elements, which are the, the, the first one, autograph, which is derived from the bone in the mouth or the patient's own body parts. The secondly, allograph, comes from the bone of other individuals of the same species. The third one, xenograph, comes from animals of different species. And the last one, alloplastic, is a synthetic material in the form of tricalcium phosphate or hydroxyapatite. We enter the, the discussion. The use of plicocyte platelet-rich fibrin was effective in treating intrabonite bone defects as indicated by the significant increase in clinical parameters by probing depth, clinical attachment level, and radiography, or bone defect field, measured at baseline and vinyl follow-up, compared with the open flat debridement method alone. The treatment of intraboni defects with platelet with which fibrin also significantly reduces post-operative pain and discomfort and accelerates periodontal wound healing compared to open flap debridement. The advantage of using protein-rich fibrin is that it uses the patient's own blood, which helps in reducing or eliminating periodontal disease through the blood. Regenerative periodontal Surgical therapy with a combination of bone graft, PRF and bone graft, alloplastic membranes showed good results. Namely, inflammation disappeared, BOP disappeared, reduced pocket depth, radiological images showed bone elevation. This proves that parental regenerative surgery can be used to repair parental tissue damage caused by chronic periodontitis disease and the formation of adhesive repair. We can see the bone graft illustration. On top left figure, we can see the we can see the bone graft material is placed on the bone defects area and the prepared root surface area. We can see the top right flap. Top right flap is closed and hectic. And the last one on the bottom figure, we can see the bone graft material has fused with healthy alveolar bone tissue. At the end, my presentation. The conclusion is. Combine bone graft and PRF, periodontal regenerative Research surgery and bone graft combination for the treatment of periodontitis cases involving large intrabony defects, provide good in periodontal tissue healing results with maximal alveolar bone healing and regeneration. Thanks for the attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.